Today we're going to be turning in something that we've been working on. It's going to be a 25 point grade. It's part two on our Schoology agenda and it's your posture slide. If I head on over to my portfolio and I'm looking at slide number five, it's called posture. We're going to be turning this in today for a grade. I'll just remind you that you're going to want to click on file, go to download and choose that JPEG option. At that point, the assignment is waiting for you at Schoology to send it in. A couple things that I'm looking for as part of your 25 point grade include a nice capitalized title, the word posture. This sentence inside a text box with a border around it starts with these words. It is important to have good posture while typing because, and then I'm interested to see how you finish that sentence. It needs to have this picture of this person sitting at a computer. And then there were five things that we said about posture. We put them in green and yellow, and purple and red and blue with borders and arrows and fill colors. And finally, we did set our background to be the light shaded colors, for instance, light green too and light blue too and so on and so forth. Once you've taken your JPEG, make sure you go to Schoology and send that in for your 25 point grade, please. In the next section of class, we're going to be at part three. It's going to be at typing.com, but today's lesson looks a little bit different than what we've been doing. Today, we're going to focus on something called your problem keys. You know, when you're at typing.com and you're going through these lessons, and I think that we've gotten so far through VHNM, the beginner lessons, typing.com is doing something that you might not have been aware of. They're keeping track of a section here called your problem keys. You may have been watching the video. I've just scrolled down a little bit. Here's the beginner. I know a lot of you guys have worked on intermediate lessons. And if you keep on scrolling down to the bottom of their menu, you'll see your problem keys. When I click on your problem keys, it's true. Even I have some problem keys. Um, it looks like X and W and V and B and C are the ones that I have problems with. Today, I'd like you guys to go through and I'd like you to do um, click on the start button for all three of these for the top two then the top three and the top five. Just want to give you a preview of what it looks like here when I click on start. It gives you some reading. Be sure that you read this. And you're going to type as much of this in in the one minute as you can. If you don't get all the way through, it's okay. So there's no screenshot that you need to take. Uh, back here it says no screenshot or screenshots needed. Just focus on your accuracy, keeping your fingers based on the home row. Don't worry about your speed. Have good posture, just like the slide that we just sent in. If you do make a mistake, be sure to fix it. And you don't need to work on any beginner lessons today. We're just focusing on our problem keys. At this point, we're going to be introducing a new slide on our portfolio. You can see this at Schoology in part number four. It says new portfolio slide number nine. It's called 25 keyboard shortcuts. Basically, you're going to rely on what you see in this video to get rolling. Now, you may not be able to finish this this hour. I understand that. Just try to get the slide created and maybe get a few shortcuts in. I'm actually going to give you four or five shortcuts that you can start with. I'm coming over to my portfolio. I'm resting here comfortably on slide number eight. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it, slide and duplicate slide. 
I've got my new slide nine. I can select all this stuff and just get rid of it. And our title for this new slide is going to be 25 Keyboard Shortcuts. You're going to need a text box that's going to take up about two-thirds of the remainder of the slide. So I'm going to come here to the text box. I'm going to go ahead and draw a text box in that touches the bottom of my title. It goes about two-thirds of the way across the slide. And it's nice when that has a black border because then you can see where it is as well. We're also going to turn on numbering. On your toolbar, you should have a numbered list button. And we've got number one. Now, number one, I'm going to just type in the format that we're going to type these in. And then I'm going to give you a few. You're going to type it in in such a way where you type in the first key plus the second key. equals what the shortcut does, what it does. Obviously, I, I don't want you to type that in. I just wanted to see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that, and I'm going to type in um, a shortcut here. And there's some pretty common ones. The first one I think I'll do is Control plus C equals, say it, say it, that's right, copy. If I press enter, um, I'm going to go probably control plus V equals paste. I'm going to put a few others in here real quick. there you have it. I've typed in for starters five of the 25 keyboard shortcuts. Now you are responsible for getting 25 on your own. I just want to be clear also on number five. That's the forward slash. That's down where you see the question mark. And I'm going to leave that one up to you to see if you guys can figure out what that does. It might be worth your time to find out what control plus forward slash will do. Listen, sometimes kids say, how am I supposed to come up with 25 keyboard shortcuts? And I would just say, um, think of ones that you already know. Maybe you know a few more that are just listed here. I've given you five. You can ask other people. I would also remind you that there's these buttons. I'm moving my pointer along right here called the menu. I'm not going to show you every single one, but if I click on file, you'll notice control plus O has a function. And if you work your way across the menu, there's quite a few under edit. Keep going across that menu and you'll find some that way. Sometimes I'll see kids having fun. They are just doing random guesses. They're holding down control or shift and they're pressing keys and seeing what things happen. You gotta be careful with that because some funny things can happen if you press the wrong combination by just random guesses. And maybe there's some other method. Maybe there's a keyboard shortcut that would be helpful for you. I'm not sure how many keyboard shortcuts you'll get in today. At least try to get the slide created and maybe get these ones typed in a text box and then work on getting as many as you can. We'll check this slide out again tomorrow. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys something. Every once in a while, there'll be a student that's interested in some extra credit. I don't really do a lot with extra credit. And for those with a keen eye, they may have noticed that I actually had an extra slide over here. I created a different posture slide. Here's what posture looks like from turning it in earlier today. If you're interested in five points of extra credit, perhaps you could make your posture slide look like what I've done right here. It would be a picture of you from the left side sitting with a good posture, a lot like what you see me or what you see the person in that picture. You're going to need to change the layers. You're going to need to make sure that your arrows are adjusted. Your arrows should be on top of the picture. And I had to change the direction and the length of most of my arrows to make it match up. And if you were to turn in this slide through Schoology, I would offer up to five extra credit points. Now, I don't want this to come at the expense of what you're supposed to be working on in class. So, 
do this later. Do it um, either during crew time or even at home. And remember also, if you're going to take a picture with your cell phone at school, um, you shouldn't really have other kids touching your cell phone, and you'd want your instructor's permission to do it. But kind of keep it a secret. Not everybody watches the video all the way through to this point, and you're going to get five extra credit points for watching the video like you've done, and if you submit it through Schoology. Well, I hope to see a few come in like this uh, to see what you guys look like and to see your photography and to see you sitting at a keyboard with good posture. All right, hey, thanks again for watching.